everyone and welcome to action rpg build guide edition today i'm ready to drop on you my new carino focus shot sniper for torchlight infinite i've been playing this over the last few days we are currently ranked number three for our class and everybody wants me to make this build now i want to be clear right now we're taking 500 million damage at the training dummy and that is for less than 100 flame elementium investment and I know that a lot of people can get into the billions, tens of billions, 50 billions in damage, but they are investing a lot more flame elementium. This will get you through the full campaign. This will get you through the full end game through tier seven maps. This will get you through the realm Lord, and you will start progressing through tier eight maps for a very small investment. As always, I will cover every single facet of the build. Everything is timestamped in the description below if you need to bounce around. Let's not waste any time and jump right into this. All right, starting off with some gameplay and we should just absolutely obliterate, ooh, an FE, these tier seven maps. Now, the reason why I call this a Carino Sniper is because you do more damage to enemies that are distant, more specifically six meters away. And for this build, you will focus on only physical damage and you will have a huge knockback so any enemies that get in your grill you'll be able to push them back which then makes them distant which means they take more damage we're also focusing on one of the new skills whirlwind blade which you could obviously see it looks really really cool that's uh, one of the main skills that got me back to this season and it is auto triggered so we're just shooting our focus shot and every time it crits it throws out some spinning blades which does great aoe damage and marks the enemies it just, it's a really, really fun build. And basically it's, you pop your blood, aim, and your potion, shoot, 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 move on. That is the way it works, and you will just crush. I've already gotten almost 600 FE just from farming with this build. So now let's check out the skills, and just so you're aware, I have 500 energy. 500 energy. Our main damage dealer is Focus Shot. We're using wind projectiles, both critical strike rating and damage, tender slicer and added physical damage. For a potion, we're using compound potion, cooldown reduction, berserk, residues, limber stretch, armor infusion. For movement speed, you can put in any one you want. My favorite is blink, but if you have one you like better, you can put that in too. Quick mobility, periodic burst, magic dash. For burst of anger, cooldown reduction, mania, well-fought battle. For aim, extended duration, mania, and well-fought battle. Running it this way, you can almost trigger these at the exact same time, all the time. For cast on crit, we are using wind or whirlwind blade. This is a brand new skill. Obviously, these are the twirling blades that you see when I crit, and these also this also marks enemies. We're using summon thunder spirit for attack speed, swiftness for movement speed, weapon amplification, and precision pre precise projectiles. And for innate curse, so curse on hit, we're using vulnerability and abyssal hatred. Right now I've only unlocked one candle. And when you're looking at over here for your soul candle, I have movement speed and a tier zero physical damage for main hand weapon. Moving over to the talents, we are all in God of War. Here is our starting board. And at 10 points, you want brutality. We go all physical on this build. And at 20 points, you want endless fervor. Second, you take ranger and I will slide through this. And coming back. For this sniper, you always want to take nodes that are for distant enemies. And you want to take knockbacks. 18 points in. You're going to take shooting arrows. 36 points in. You want rapid shots. Distant enemies. And yes, distant enemies are six meters away. Last but not least, Shadow Dancer. Scrolling. Scrolling back. 18 points in. You want to take Blunt. 
36 points in, you want to take Opened Wounds. Now for Statue of the New God, this is how I currently have it set up. And again, you got to remember, I do not have heavy FE investment in this build. Okay, we are taking Keep It Up and again, damage to distant enemies. And then I've got Sealed Mana Physical. Attack Speed, Sealed Mana. Sealed Mana. And up here, chance to gain stack of tenacity blessing, agility blessing, focus, and resistance. So those are the overviews for the talents. Let's move over to gear. Again, not a lot invested. I will take you through it one at a time. And right now we are currently maxed with our resistances. Helmet. Chest. Gloves, amulet, belt, boots, ring, ring, and the only item that you need for this, which is so cheap, I had this day one pretty much, is the mountain howling bow. Big boost to your knockbacks. So that is the gear. Now let's check out the hero traits for our Ranger of Glory. At 32, you want to take bottom. And at 62 and 80, you want to take the top. Right now, you're allowed to put two extra support skills in. And I have taken slow projectiles and multiple projectiles. Now, you can't do more damage if you don't put in multiple projectiles, but I like having a large spread. It just helps with clear speed. And on here, here's some of the gear. Reload special ammo, attack speed, projectile quantity, crit damage, projectile quantity, attack speed, and for our last one, attack speed and movement speed. Now, last thing we are going to look at is our pets. And my pets are not good. I have never spent a cent on pets. This is all just through free currency pulls in game. We've got a purple Mike Wazowski. Violet, tier six. We've got an OG Mike Wazowski, green, tier four. And then we have a level one lizard green leaf. And these are all attack damage. All right, everyone, that's the build guide. What do you think of my new Carino snipers or something I missed? Is there something I can do to push this to the next level? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of the video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it, but of course, only if you think I've earned it. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 91 members that have signed up. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to support? And Patreon is it. We have our first game night coming up January 6th, which is this coming Saturday. It is gonna be an absolute blast. I'm just so excited for 2024 and what is coming. If you need anything, reach out to me on Discord. I'm done. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.